<clears throat> What's up, dudes and dudes? City Urna. My name is Seth, and we are back again with some more. Tro 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 wait, tro ha ha! My visors are back. PS4, baby. I know it's been a million zillion years, and thank you very, very kindly for being a patient with me. Now, I'm going to explain something to all of you PS4 fans out there that I have been explaining in my PC videos and live streams, and I'm going to just kind of say this right here, right now. I'm never going to quit the console version of Trove. When new stuff comes out for Trove, we're gonna take a break from the Let's Plays and stuff like that so that I have time to grind up all of the new content and make videos highlighting all of the new content and tutorials, etc., etc. because I, I think that those are much more important than us just kind of messing around like we usually do in these episodes, right? So either way, we're back. Finally have a little bit of extra time to end up recording a console episode. To Xbox fans out there, that's probably going to end up being the next episode as well. So I, I've got almost all of the tutorials out of the way for the new Adventures update. However, there is still a lot of things that I do have to do. On the PC version of the game, I recently got every Adventurine item. So I got to find time to end up making that video as well. And just, I got a whole list of stuff I got to record, dude. Like I've got the, um, uh, talking about the new badges, talking about plasma fishing, uh, talking about the rings in more detail and everything. It's just, ugh, it's crazy. So anyways, I thought today we would take a little bit of a break. We got a few people here. We got Lilith here. Uh, I don't know why you're still not in Discord that much, Lilith. Generally speaking, I know that most of the PS4 officers uh, don't hang out in the Discord because they're busy hanging out and parties on the PS4 and stuff. But this is really, really cool. So we got this hub here, right? This, this is the hub that I built a long, long time ago uh, with Atticus and Death. And it was just, it, it was a good old time. Uh, it's been remodeled to be kind of different colored themes and everything like that uh, by Lilith and the other officers. And we got a lot of uh, signs and stuff like that in here. However, I was actually just talking with Lilith and I've been waiting, uh, purposely waiting on the next PS4 episode for this to end up being done. Uh, apparently, there still is a couple light touches that need to be made, but there is a new hub that has been created for Uggles Squid on the PS4. And I'm really, really hy hyped about it uh, because it really reminds me of my PC hub uh, in that it's in the new biome and it's all oriental theme and it's just, it's great, like seriously. So without further ado, here's our beautiful old club hub and we're going to say goodbye to that and take the yellow transit portal. Ba -ba -ba -bum! I actually really like this idea by the way where we've got the uh, rally blade uh, which they've actually got the silver one too which is really cool but we got it right here with the portal itself and I actually really like the designs that they ended up building on this uh, I don't know who ended up building everything uh, but Lilith said that for the most part she's been kind of planning and laying down everything about this build so I just think that this is awesome dude like this is just little, little golf clap here because this is just great like, I love it. I love the fact that we got like this crazy build and everything like that. We got the vault over here, which is uh, bronze. And then we've got the Mount Menagerine here. And oh, so that's how it works. Well, that's a lot dumber than I thought it was. <laughs> uh, the upgraded Menagerine is going to end up being quite, quite different. Eventually you can end up having a bunch of different mounts and stuff. And uh, I'm hoping Lilith, if you're watching this, I hope that you know it's okay because the fixtures, the way that they build when you upgrade them, they only build up vertically. They don't end up taking up more space uh, on the horizontal outline. So that's handy to keep in mind. What do we got here? Full boat access. Don't feed the fish. I like it. I like it a lot. So we got lots of signs and stuff like that that we could probably check out. Um, more to come. Floors, proper portals, placements, and such decorations under construction by Lilith. Uh, feel free to tour around. There are many secrets to discover and many more to come. Oh, I love that. I love You know in my trove builds and stuff. I love it when people put secrets around. Like, seriously, that's, what's all, that's what it's always about. Like, I'm expecting there to be secret caves and stuff like that all over. And it's just... Hmm, I'm hungers for, for finding all the goodies, right? Oh, wow. Dude, that is so cool. Like, see, 
my my build on the PC version, I kind of go for simplicity, but I always love seeing other people's types of builds because then we get to see kind of the different uh, way that we think, you know, a different imagination as it were. And I really like what's going on here because it's very, very cluttered, but it, it just looks good. Like, I don't mean cluttering in a bad sense because, you know, PS4, we actually don't deal with very bad frame rates or anything like that. Ooh! And is the water area going to end up being fleshed out as well? That's really cool. Oh, dude, yeah, we got a secret right here already. So we've got, warning, cavern of lost souls. Oh, no! I'm not a lost soul, dude. I don't... Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's a maze. Okay. I hope I have enough jump to get out of here. <laughs> I'm not going through there. I'm sorry, Lilith, but no way. I would just end up getting destroyed in there. So I guess this is going to end up being the new hub. I don't know where the spawn is going to be. Most likely right here, unless there's some other spot that's going to end up having it. But we seem to have all of our workstations around and everything. And then, oh, I really like this. Like the whole docks over uh, the water. That's really, really cool. And then we got just a side house right here, which is future rules building per chance. Yes, I like it a lot. Uh, and then, oh, I see. So Lilith ended up going the different route with the side uh, walls right here, which you can see it's uh, actually unfinished. But what I ended up doing was going for something similar to the three-star dungeon in that the outside of the walls are just, it's just flat, it's just white, right? Uh, as opposed to what Lilith, Lilith is doing here where it's kind of a mirrored uh, way through, which looks perfectly fine. It's just an alternative way of doing things. Future location of a sawmill. Ooh, I like it, dude. Uh, and then also, it seems like, I I'm actually kind of surprised, but it seems like we've got the new, uh, like the, the grass is generating properly, right? Because otherwise it was all gray on the PS4, and I, I didn't end up talking about that in a video or in patch videos or anything like that, sorry to say, but very cool that it's actually been all ironed out now, and it seems like it's a little bit more stable. This is a Frameworks right here, if I've ever seen one. Yes, indeed. Okay, and we got a tree inside it. That's adorable. No, not really. That's, uh, yeah, you can tell some things are still being under construction here, including, like, all the portals and everything like that. But, oh, dude, I love it. And, ooh, that's interesting. Just force the bridge right here. That's really cool. I think it would be neat. This is just myself personally. Now I'm now I'm just thinking. Now I'm in the build mood, right? But it'd be cool if this uh, roof was kind of knocked out here, kind of a more grandiose entrance type of thing going on. Uh, but otherwise, it seems like we got a lot more build going on here. We got the uh, little gazebo area, and then this is going to obviously have like a staircase up. Uh, I'm sure that is going to end up being most likely where the portals are going to be or, st or stuff like that. I mean, that's what I had on the PC version. I'm not saying that that's what it's going to end up being. Um, for this uh for the ps4 version but either way we got some really cool stuff uh that looks like it's in the works here and i mean it's just awesome dude like i love the fact that we've got a new hub this would have taken like such a long time too because for myself anyways i don't really like console building like I, I generally find that i play this game really really slow when i'm playing it on the console version wait a minute we got a bunch of portals and stuff in that area i didn't end up exploring ah, ah, okay let's uh What's happening? Where are we? What the? We're underneath. Portal room. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay, I don't know why I didn't even take that doorway, but there's a second floor up there I want to get up to uh, that seemed to have a couple... Oh, maybe it's not that one. Yeah, it's this one over here. Okay. Oh, that fire VFX from the Lunar Lancer Fortress costume. So beautiful, dude. So where is the legit way up to here unless this is just kind of a temporary portal room? Yeah, I'm assuming that's what this is. It's just going to end up being where people are setting up a couple things uh, and just hanging up. I really like the idea of building on top of the fixtures. I I've always really liked that idea. Uh, I just don't really know how to build on top of the fixtures to make them look cool. But this is actually, like, I really like what they've done here. Like, that's really, really cool. Um, I think these are the only fixtures that we actually have. Let me see if we can take a quick little peek at this, actually. Hopefully the game's not going to explode. Level uh, three, actually not too bad. I thought we would be doing a little bit slower, so that's not too bad at all. Uh, the vitality one, okay. So where was that hanging out? I don't know where the vitality thing was. Maybe it's like over in the hub or over in another area. Where is this, by the way? Oh, this is just down over here. So you see where those other people are at the top middle of the map uh, in the green biome? 
That's the old original hub. I was wondering what these biomes were down here. Huh. Okay. Well, that's really cool. Very nice little adjustment as well. But anyways, that's pretty much all that I wanted to do for today was just to show you the beautiful new hub and let you know that we're back. We're going to have these episodes and I'm not going to quit the console version of Trove, okay? Like, really, I don't know why people seem to keep thinking that I am secret. You're not supposed to be there. Oh, uh, I understand. I'm going to just sit here and stare out the window like a freak. Um, but either way... I'm not going to end up quitting the console version ever, okay? So just get that out of your head right now. Uh, the only reason that I ended up taking a bit of a break from having a console episode is because I was busy grinding all of the new PC stuff. And honestly, I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy. Like we, we definitely have a lot of grindy stuff with this uh, update. Most of all that adventurine, dude, like that's, it's really, really badly scaled, I would say, because it's almost the same as getting from level one to 30. Like it takes a long time topped with the fact that none of it's tradable. And when you're farming for adventurine, you have to exclusively farm for adventurine. You can't farm for anything else, really. But I'm actually really pleasantly surprised to see that Lilith already has Blocktron. That's really cool. Uh, what did we actually have for our clue bits in the club, by the way? 300. Okay. And then uh, lots of people being invited and joining the club and stuff like that because that filter for some reason just gets completely spammed out. Now, before we call today's episode, I wanted to bring to attention uh, something that ended up happening to our good old pal Atticus. Um, he's been a PS4 officer pretty much since day one. Uh, and lots of people have been wondering, you know, what's been going on? Where has he been? So... With his permission, I'm able to actually talk about this. I don't typically like to talk about negative things because generally I view my videos as a way of forgetting about the negativities of the world, right? But when something ends up happening to somebody you know, it's difficult not to talk about it. Uh, so Atticus actually legit had a tree fall down on his house and his roof was completely destroyed. I'm not joking, like this actually happened. And it's terrible because for a while he was homeless, uh, kind of just staying at like friends' houses and stuff. And now I'm pretty sure he's at a stay home while they get their roof repaired. And uh, I asked him, you know, if he was comfortable with me including, I'll put a link in the description so that if you want to, you can donate to uh, their family uh, so that they can end up actually getting themselves a new roof because it's very expensive and well, yeah, I, you know, I don't really do charity stuff very well, so it's a little bit uncomfortable for me. But I just wanted to say that we, you know, we, we gotta, like, help this guy out, right? So hopefully it ends up generating enough that they can end up reaching their goal. Uh, as far as I know, that donation pool is going to be around for either one or two more weeks before they end up pulling it down. Or maybe they're going to keep it going uh, until it's fully repaired. I don't know. But in either case... Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. That's also going to build up loyalty points to my merch store. Links are in the description for that and everything else about this game and everything else about just everything. Uh, and then also just good luck to Atticus. I mean, he's been able to, like, have internet again and be able to play with us every now and then. But, uh, yeah, that sucks, dude. Like, really. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Sanoa and stay epic.